Okay, on the bottom of the storm chaser, what we did was we created a rod that comes down and out to the side, held in place with a staple, a little bit of movement just so that we have some play. And then, so there's one of those on either side, and then the servo in the middle with a middle with a hook. And the hook will just come and come like that. And when you flick the switch, unhooks like that. So on the top of the Assassin, there's a staple here and a staple on the other side that that just slides onto, and a ring right by the motor mount that that hooks into. So when you let release that, it, those staples on top of the Assassin just slide right off the rods. Sweet. Let's get this hooked up. We'll launch an Assassin off of a Storm Chaser. Or something else. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just don't throw out all the ears out. This is cool. <laughs> okay, hit that switch, Dave. Is it the little one? Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I got that, that. I mean, that released immediately. Yeah, that was perfect. Come, up, come back up the eye and put it on the video. See if you can hook them back up, Lee. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Land over there on the bird. Where's my wind? From this side. Side now. There we go. All right, it is connected. There we go! We got a storm chaser with an assassin strapped below it. Take three assassin drop. I 
got it. <laughs>